So in this video, we are going to talk about an amazing puzzle kit that is included in the free for the month asset collection in the Unreal Engine marketplace and that is the ultimate FPS puzzle kit. This puzzle kit is free only for this month so make sure to get it. So this kit as the name already suggests is a kit that contains various puzzles that you can use to build your own puzzle game. And the assets in the kit are modular so you can easily add your own elements and supposedly you don't even need to know how to work with blueprints to create your puzzles with this kit. So I'm using the first person project template over here and I have added the ultimate FPS puzzle kit in this project template and I have already opened the demonstration so that's here under demo maps demonstration over here and you will end up with this level. So before we continue there are a couple of things that we need to do and for that we need to go to the edit project settings and change some things in here. So the first thing that we are going to do is go over here in the search bar and type UV and in here under engine physics you will have this option called support UV from hit results. Set this to true. Alright, so I'm going to restart this later. And after that, we need to go to the maps and modes over here under project and then change the default game mode to BP game mode. And you can see it's specifically from the FPS puzzle SP. You can see the game slash FPS puzzle SP slash blueprints. This is the one that you need to use. So again, confirm that it's from the FPS puzzle kit and then select it. And then from the default pawn class, it automatically sets the CH actor, which is again from the puzzle kit. And after that, we need to go to the search bar and type preset. And in here, we need to add three custom collision presets. So click on new. And then in here, I'm going to type only pawn. And then under collision enabled, I'm going to select collision enabled. And then down over here, under the trace type, I'm going to click on these boxes over here. So, world static, world dynamic, not the pawn, but the physics body, the vehicle, and destructible, and also for projectile. And after you're done, click on accept. And it will create this new custom preset over here. Similarly, we need to do this again. So, over the name section, I'm going to type only laser, and then under collision enabled. We're going to select query only and then in here we're going to click on the camera checkbox over here and then the rest we're going to click on everything over here we're going to click on exit and we need to create one more custom preset and again this time we're going to call this only physics for collision enabled i'm going to select collision enabled query and physics Simply just copy what I'm doing over here. And again, if you're confused about any of these things, you can refer the product page of this puzzle kit. And there's a link over there where you can go and refer the setup and installation guide for this particular puzzle kit made available by the creator himself. So you can try referring from that if you want. And then click on accept. And that's it. We are finally done. And you can see we have a bunch of stages over here that we need to complete in order to move on to the next stage and this level is a very great example on how to demonstrate the capabilities of this particular puzzle kit now you can go to full screen by pressing the f11 key you can see we have a bunch of footstep noises over here from our character you can press the f key to pick up objects and place it over these over this button over here and there it kind of opens the stair over here and you can see this green line over here this green line is kind of a reference on on what you need to actually trigger in order for this door to open up and over here we also have this explanation on how this works so you can refer to this if we have any confusion on how this works Moving on to the next level, 
in this level we have a bit more complexity so we have lasers over here you need to basically guide the lasers to these points over here in this level and you can see there is this black line over here that all link to this area over here so currently it's closed so to complete this now over here you can see the green lines have started to show up and we need to actually get the laser over to this area over here and there we completed it again in each level we have this explanation over here so you can kind of refer to this if you have any kind of confusion there isn't actually a documentation at least from my understanding there isn't so you need to refer to this kind of images over here in order to have an idea on how this works Again, if you haven't set up this level properly, you would not be able to pass through this object over here. So that is the reason why we kind of made that setup initially, including the sliders and such. And in case I didn't already mention, all of these assets are fully modular, so you can combine with the other assets to create all kinds of unique puzzles. See, we can't move over here. This particular world doesn't allow us, but only just the object. Similarly, yeah, I guess we, I found out a bug over here. Yeah, this over here is a bug. It's not meant to actually work like this. The cube should be blocked. But I guess a bug is causing it to kind of go through the wall. Again, all kinds of slider controls that you have. And there we have it. You can also kind of jump using the space bar. I guess they kind of forgot to mention that. I'm going to choose laser. There we go. And there, we completed. And yeah, that's about it for this particular puzzle kit. And again, this level nicely demonstrates the capabilities of this particular puzzle kit and all the various kind of puzzles that you can kind of create with this. This puzzle kit is only available for free for this month so before the end of this month i highly recommend you to buy this and once you buy it it's yours forever it's a very nice toolkit to have especially when you're trying to create a puzzle game and yeah that's about it for this video thanks for watching and see you later bye